I'd like to uh, welcome uh, Senator Feeney. Our state representatives can't be here tonight. They're in session. They're not as efficient as the Senate. <laughs> and I'd like to welcome the select board members that are here tonight. Our building committee, the town employees that are here, especially uh, all those department heads that have worked on uh, this project. Our architects, DBVW, around here somewhere, oh, right here. Our OPM, Steve Kirby from Vertex and his team. And our contractor, M. O'Connor. So finally, after 312 years, <laughs> the residents of Norton have decided that it's important to have a uh, suitable town hall to showcase your community. So uh, we're finally, after a long process, um, a couple different building committees along the way. Dino O'Brien is here, previous chair of the building committee. We're finally at this point where we're moving forward. And I think now, Steve, it's 360 days till we're in that building. I know it was 390 when we started. So I think it'll be finished a little bit before the Route 123 project. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to have Senator Feeney come up and say a few words. <clears throat> Well, thank you, Town Manager Units. It is wonderful to be here this evening to celebrate, to celebrate the work of so many people, to all the department heads, to our permanent building committee, to our select board members, former select board members as well, to so many people that came together to make this happen. Uh, who would have thought, right, yeah, after all these years? It's a wonderful, wonderful project. Um, 360 days, is that what you said, Mike? But who's counting? Um, look, tonight we celebrate the groundbreaking for what is going to be a beautiful building. Uh, fitting for the people of Norton. I want to thank the taxpayers. Even though it's not always easy to make an investment into buildings, they saw the need for it, not only because of where you are now and, of course, the physical facility, but because of the people that work in it every single day. So to all the town employees that have to work in our town uh, seat of our town government, uh, this is a building that is fitting for you to be able to work in every day and for the citizens of Norton to come and do their business as well. So it's a big night. I'm glad to be here. I apologize the state representatives are actually still in debate. I was watching in my car. Um, they all just like to talk and hear themselves talk. I'm not like in the Senate where we are, you know, so efficient in our debate. But they did want to be here, and they sent me a text over on my way uh, to make sure that, um, you know, that, that you knew how proud they are as well of this project. So good luck. Can't wait to cut the ribbon on this place. Thank you so much. Thank you. Representative of the Select Board want to come up and speak? I think they already thanked everybody, um, but I think uh, I'm very excited for the for the town employees most of all. Um, anybody who's been in that building, it's horrible to work in, um, and I'm only in there you know a few times a week, if that. So um, uh, they, they greatly deserve it. And um, I th again, thank you to the Permanent Building Committee and the taxpayers of Norton, again, fantastic job coming together with this, the, um, the senior center and, and the soccer field, uh, the fields. Uh, and thank you to the mayor of Norton. Yeah, Peter Wiggins, yeah, the mayor of Norton. Thank you. Yep. And Jim Slattery, chairman of the Permanent Building Committee. Everybody here is part of the team that's helping to build this building and the senior center. And I promised Beth that we get the senior center done before this building. So there's a challenge out there to the contractors and hopefully it'll happen. Or Beth will disown me and not let me in the senior center and I'll have to haunt the fire department. Um, but this is a team effort. Uh, I, I'm on site like three times a week which doesn't make a lot of people happy, um, but I'm seeing things, I'm helping promote things, but we did it all as a team. Just uh, this afternoon, there were probably five department heads out in this parking lot discussing a parking problem, I believe, 
um, and fencing. But they're out here all the time. When we have a problem at the senior center, we discuss it. I want to thank Steve, our OPM. I want to thank Ed and uh, Bob from uh, GBDW and, I, and Mike Viveros, who is my partner in crime, who's the head architect, and he's the V in the company, but he's out on his 40-foot boat on vacation. Um, so you have the old town hall behind you. You have the new town hall here. Um, hopefully within a year, everybody will be in a new office that has good ventilation, that has good air conditioning, that has good heat in the winter, because I know how a lot of you had to bring in heaters from home. Um, also, uh, a lot of other things. Uh, we did have one bump in the road. People are now accusing me of doing it because I complained about all the storage of paper in the cellar, but uh, we're going <laughs> to get rid of some of that. Um, for storage, but we are moving along. You can see the stumps are gone. I'm sorry you can't picture a building, but it's here. Um, if you're really, really interested, which you probably aren't, on the back of this picture that's going to blow away in a minute, um, is the office layout, if you haven't seen it. And also, in the first floor of the town hall, halfway down in front of uh, Mike's assistant's office is a whole bunch of a couple of boxes with plans and stuff in it if you're really interested but again i just want to thank especially my building committee my past chairwoman who um, was very good in keeping me in line and getting things done my committee as it is bob madeiros who isn't here who is leaving who was very instrumental in site planning because he knows where all the skeletons are in town um, then we go on to the architect and everybody else. But I want to thank you all for being here. Again, the taxpayers, I will, uh, two things I'll bring up. You'll notice we only have two big shovels. For those of you who are new to groundbreaking with Jim Slattery, if you're at the senior center, you know the story. I was not paying $75 a shovel, as you see the big ones, for celebrities to have shovels to take home to find because <laughs> I asked to see the past shovels and some people couldn't find them. And I'll talk bad about the past superintendent. He was one of them of schools. So we as a committee decided not to have the $75 shovels. I said we should have something. I substitute taught in the schools here in the 80s. The teacher in metal gave me a project for a day to give the students. It was to make the small shovels, which are garden shovels, in a day. I went back to the high school. They no longer have a metal shop, probably because I taught there once. Um, so I went to Southeastern. They made the shovels. Uh, they're here, so they're symbolic. I think they're symbolic, one, of how frugal we are, and two, of a groundbreaking. And uh, the last thing I'm going to say is I hit, hit Senator Feeney's representative and Senator Feeney that I'm very upset about the, well, I don't know what the number is now. The last I heard, there was like $8 billion in the state house of APA money that's sitting in somebody's closet that will be spent on a trip somewhere, probably back to Ireland. I don't know where. But... Um, I want to see that money come to the communities. Shouldn't be sitting at the state house. And and to emphasize that, on this particular project already, we have two town-owned companies that are working on this project. There, am I getting the? Uh, eh? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, we have. We already have uh, two companies that are working on this project so the money is going back to commercial people in this town and that's what that money's meant for is to go back to employ local people and do local things so again thank you all for coming
Um, I have another seven pages, but we all want to get to home to watch Jeopardy, so it is what it is. Thank you again. Thank you. Uh, good job, guys.